Hello everyone, this is Extreme Enigma 90 here, and welcome to a different kind of video. This one is going to be a type of snack or food review video. Some of you may know the YouTuber known as Mr. Beast, aka Jimmy, aka the one YouTuber who does a lot of charity. Well, not sure if I would say charity, but gives away money to a whole bunch of people and if you are all not aware he has his own snack these are Mr. Beast Feastables now he uploaded a video where the Feastable chocolate bars were available at Walmart I had my family go out to Walmart and get these. Now I got three different types of chocolate bars here. I got an original chocolate. You see the Mr. Beast logo. Then I got a Quinola Crunch chocolate, which I believe is like a Nestle Crunch. And I see it's a dark blue logo. Sorry if it looks wet because these were in the fridge. I put them in the fridge overnight so they're nice and cold and so they don't melt since they're chocolate and chocolate melts in heat. And then I got a small milk chocolate. Now I'm going to try these out and give my review. Now I'm not going to give any hate. It's going to be my opinion on how they taste because most chocolate from other brands are usually kind of like not really good chocolate. Like when I reviewed that Finance of Freddy's chocolate bar a couple years ago back in 2018 or 2019, I can't remember. But also stick to the end of the video for me to review the cookies, the Feastables cookies. But be sure to check out Mr. Beast in the description below, and be sure to share this with Mr. Beast I'm giving a review on his Feastables. Anyways, let's get this started. Apparently there's four ingredients in this. Cane sugar, organic chocolate liquor, not alcoholic, cocoa butter, sunflower. Now, let's open this up. Get this taste. I got it open. Ooh, this looks interesting. It has a word written share. Let's review share devour. Mmm. I should put the share. And I think I should devour and take a bite of this. I'll save this for my family if they want to have a piece. So remember to share this video with your friends and with Mr. Beast. I'll save that for later. Now, time to review the chocolate. It's like a normal chocolate bar, like that 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 Finance at Freddy's chocolate bar. Just plain, really plain, not really good like Hershey's. Even though this tastes probably more better than Hershey's. Not sponsored, by the way. I'll wrap this up for later. That was the original chocolate. Now I'm gonna review this tiny milk chocolate one. Now this milk chocolate, it says there's grass-fed milk, so these are like plant-based candies, and there's five ingredients in this. Let's see what the ingredients are. Cane sugar, organic cocoa butter, organic chocolate liquor, organic milk, and a, an organic vanilla powder. Mmm. Let's give this a taste. 
Okay, give me another. Uh, yep, it was a share. Even though parts of my family are lactose intolerant, but luckily I'm not lactose intolerant. Remember to share this video. And share the chocolate with your friends. I'm gonna put these share ones, because I wanna be generous. Now, time to review sea milk chocolate. Oh, this one's a bit tougher. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that is different. Different than the original. I know this is just me just eating Beastables Mr. Beast candy on camera. But I'm giving my review. I'll save this for later. Alright, time to review possibly my favorite one. Puentnola Crunch Chocolate. I can't really pronounce it. I suppose this is supposed to be like a Nestle Crunch bar. And five ingredients. The ingredients are cane sugar, organic chocolate liquor, organic cocoa butter, crispy canola, and sunflower. I can't really pronounce it. Oh, may contain peanuts, tree nuts, milk, soy, and wheat. Okay, so this may not be for all of you who may have peanut allergies or any nut allergies. Peel it off the back. Oh, it's upside down! What kind of chocolate's upside down? Oh, I can see there's like little bumps on the back, like almost like a Nestle crunch. The share just ripped off. <laughs> oh well. Well, oh, Napple Teeth. Oh, that's crunky. Mmm. 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 Let me try another bite. Hey, you can hear the crunchy snap. I believe this tastes sweeter than a Nestle Crunch. Which I could see. But I could eat this. This tastes this one tastes more better. Save this for later. Next! Alright. So I tried all three chocolate bars. Here's the original milk chocolate and then the crunch now the original chocolate I'll, I'll rate it mm, I'll rate it 5 out of 10 I mean for, for my opinion but I'm sure this would be enjoyable for those who really like usually normal chocolate milk chocolate uh Probably a uh, six out of ten. Then the crunch, mm, eight out of ten. Probably tastes better than Nestle Crunch. They were all good, even though those rankings were low. But it's just I usually go for like good flavor, even though I've had like tons of candy snacks, but mostly like Kit Kat's Reese's. But they're good. They're good. Now, for the final one. The cookies. Feastables Mr. Beast cookies. And these are plant-based and gluten-free. Now, this was a new thing that was announced from Mr. Beast, aka Jimmy himself. Now, I'm kind of skeptical about plant-based, because... I eat meat, and I'm not a vegan. Oh, let me just 
just open this up. It has a little pear seal at the top, so it's packaged in a bag. You carry cookies in. And I think there's a Ziploc. Yep, there's a Ziploc. Mmm. Smells kind of sweet. They smell like muffins. Anyways, let me just tear that off the top. Uh, let me show you what's inside. Even though some cookies are like upside down. They're looking a bit brown or something. And they are chocolate chip, which, is, which would be good, hopefully. Oh, they're hard. Just press up their hard cookies. Not soft or chewy. This is a cookie. Looking a bit dark instead of like a light tannish color and it's hard so minus points on the hard since i like chewy cookies like soft chewy cookies anyways let's try it oh, oh. Mmm. That's fascinating. It's fascinating for a plant-based cookie. <clears throat> I'm gonna try another bite. Mmm. That's really good. So, the cookies, I would rate probably, um, probably an 8 out of 10. That was pretty good. I'm pretty sure I hope Mr. Beast, aka Jimmy himself, or hopefully Feastables, makes more of these types of cookies with different types of flavors. But these were really good, surprisingly. Thought they were going to be a little in, but overall, with the chocolate and the cookies, so original chocolate, 5 out of 10, the milk chocolate, I think 6 out of 10, the cocoa chocolate crunch, 8 out of 10, and the cookies, 8 out of 10 as well. But these are just my opinion, I'm not giving too much hate because obviously I'm just more into more tastier, sweeter types of candies. But chocolate's not that bad, milk chocolate not that bad either, and crunch also not that bad. You can't expect me to just give them like 10 out of 10 instantly, but hopefully Mr. Beast you don't hate me. Uh, anyways, that was my review on the Feastables chocolate bars and the Feastables cookies of Mr. Beast. I hope you all enjoyed, even though it was just me eating chocolates and cookies on camera. But I'll leave a link to Mr. Beast's channel description below. Also, maybe leave a link to Feastables so you could all get the chocolate and cookies, even though they're being sold at Walmart all over the US. Hope you all enjoyed, leave a like, comment down below, what other types of possible like snacks you want me to review. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, it really helps me out a lot, click the bell icon to get notified for every new video I upload. Thank you guys for watching, I'm Streaming the 90 and I will see you all in the next video. EE90 out.